Hello everyone, I'm Mimi and I'm going to attempt to show you how to achieve Photoshop's liquify effect using GIMP. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is open up your image. This is the image I'm going to use. And um, I'm just going to zoom in on the part that I want to edit for example purposes right now. And it's this part of the arm that just really bugs me about the second life skeleton. Um, but unfortunately in GIMP it's not going to be exactly the same as it is in Photoshop. It's not like a tool that you can get in your toolbox and just um, edit the effect on the original image. What you're going to have to do though is click on filters, go down to distort, and then click on this button here called eye warp. Now it'll open up a window on your screen and you'll see the entire image and I can't figure out a way to zoom in like this while you're editing so um, yeah, that's something that probably needs to be updated in GIMP where you can actually zoom in or work on the original piece of art. But what we're going to do is we're going to just select the area that we want to edit and then try it again. We're going to go back to Distorts and I Warp and there you have a closer shot of your image. It's not perfect, but you know, it's better than nothing. So we're going to click on move here and I'm going to keep my deform radius and amount around 30 and point 30 like I have here. And all you do is just click and start pushing. And it's really that simple. You can mess around with your radius to grow or shrink it. Um, there's no outline. There might be an option to see the outline somewhere in these tabs, but I'm actually pretty new to GIMP myself, so I figured as a newbie, teaching the other newbies, this is um, the best way to get the effects of Photoshop without having to pay for it. So as you can see in the original image behind here, um, you can still see the beforehand. So once I press OK, that's going to transform into what we edited. It's not perfect, but it's just for example purposes, just for the tutorial. Now let's zoom back out and go up to the face. Let's try one of the other effects. I'm going to zoom in on the face here. Sorry. There we go. And I've already got it selected, so I'm going to click Filter, Distort, and I Warp one more time. There we go, we got the face there. And I'll just start messing around with the stuff, change my settings a little bit, and let's just make that nose grow. Actually, let's <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh lord, wow, that's a huge radius. So we don't want a huge radius, we want to just increase the grow amount. So you can have some really big funky eyes and lips. <laughs> Obviously this isn't how I'm really going to keep my image, but uh, yeah, this avatar had a little too much plastic surgery. Do you think? <laughs> So these are just some of the things that you can do. Give her some big cheekbones. And a big old forehead. Stretch it out. Make it grow. I think that looks pretty good, don't you? <laughs> Before or after? <laughs> Alright, well I'm just going to cancel that. So you can see the effects that you can do. It's not exactly like Photoshop, but it is um, just a nice workaround that you can get for free. So, alright, my name is Mimi, and I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, and hopefully it helps, and if not, I'm um, sorry. Alright, bye.